This is the Pacific Coast Bike Race, organized by Eric, who is in my DuranRide.com coaching group. He got into ultra cycling, gave him some tips, and he wanted to get a race going. And I said, just start it up, man. And he did. <laughs> he did. And it's over 650 members now in the group. Uh, it's fantastic. Eric's going to get a great job. They've just had, apparently, they just had the Pacific Coast Bike Race. This is a little... Uh, live tracker trackleaders.com and so the race it's a bike race unsupported and you just basically start in portland and then head down the pch i've done this actual route myself um it's pretty cool it's pretty cool it's a great it's a great ride in 2006 on my trek oclv lance armstrong 5500 and it finishes in san diego so it goes through uh Ensenada's Oceanside and LA, Long Beach, Santa Monica, Oxnard, Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara. So it is very cool um, if you're in the US or you want an event like that. We've got some uh, jerseys here. I think they could add a bit more high vis, personally. I'm a big fan of the high vis stuff. Um, yeah, Pacific Coast, man. Everyone should ride a Pacific Coast. It's incredible. Incredible. So there's some pictures here of the uh, some of the riders. Um, again, gang, get out there, be visible, be vis 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 visible, be as visible as possible. Um, otherwise, you're gonna, you know, just increase your odds of not making it. And uh, that's just really that's a lot. Of big sir, it's pretty good, pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Good color jersey there, and uh, looks like is it a battleship down in San Diego maybe. San Diego statue of a sailor and a chick, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I can't stress enough the the visibility, people. You know, it is. I, I used to tour into pretty dark stuff because I was, you know, just uneducated. But uh, visibility is paramount. You can sort of see here over the back is a bit more visible. Um, yeah, this guy's got an interesting setup as well. It's like a Cervelo TT bike and load it up. Um, you wouldn't want to ride in those pants because they'd be catching a lot of wind. They'd catch a lot of wind. But hey, whatever it takes, as long as you're out, that's the main thing. That's the main thing. So you see, you see a lot of riders here, you know, running the reflective stuff. That's really good. This guy here, you know, full neon. That's what we were talking about. Rim brakes, etc. So yeah, just... Just having the extra visibility, man. It's really good. It's like some, uh, yeah. So it's a bit cool, the weather. It looks a bit cool, the weather. Some female entrance. Um, it's great. Great to see. What a great place to start. And uh, so these are the faces of the Pacific Coast Bike Race. It's 1,533 miles to Portland, San Diego. So it's what I like about this course is that it is very well supported in terms of shops and water and your bush camping you can pretty much bush camp anywhere you want and you know it, it the terrain's nothing hardcore you know so it, it is a great place to do it you know something like indie pack is just extreme you wouldn't want to jump into the first bike packing event because it's just it's just it's, you know indie packs just it's just the extreme distances etc but this is a a great way to start if you're looking in the US and you want to uh, want to do it, uh, gearing. I I, mean, I did this the thirty nine twenty one. I know I did the thirty nine twenty one. Um, you know, back in the day thirty nine twenty one. But I just run a compact crank. I was probably just run a compact with like a thirty four in the back or something. That'd be fine or forty. Whatever, whatever you need. Whatever you need. You know, end of the day, whatever you need. Um. So yeah. That's all that's the, that's the go there. But anyway, go check out the Pacific Coast Bike Race. Have joined the forum, have a read through, and just giving you a heads up. It's an event that's out there, and uh, looks like a great thing to do. Get amongst it.